Finally, Wumi has decided to take the easier option. Of course, she has nothing else to fight for. Everything that she was holding on to, of course, we know that she is illegally holding on to it. Everything has been stripped off. Everything has been taken away from her. She knows it. So, she wants a soft landing. She does not want to be persecuted. She does not want anyone, anybody to talk. She does not want anybody to say anything. Not even a single word. She does not want anybody to say anything, anything at all against her. She does not want anybody to nail her on the cross. Even though she's not saving the world, but I mean to just put her there like one of those thieves on the side of Jesus Christ who did not get salvation. She has reached out to everyone, please help me, help me, please. Um, if you guarantee my safety, I will say everything. Meaning she wants to answer off without repercussions. We know that is not possible. No, it's not possible. Wicked people must be punished. It's a natural law, law of karma. Wicked people must not go unpunished. Because if they do, it will become a practice. It will become a way of life. In this video, you will get to hear from Wumi. You get to hear all that she has to say about DNA, Mobata RIP. This is a record, audio recording, where she decided to say it all. Like, I will open my mouth and I will say all that I know. I will say everything. She's trying to gain sympathy from this, but I don't know if you are ready to give sympathy because what you're about to hear will shock you. It will blow your mind. Do not forget to like, share, tap on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Returning subscribers, those that have been here, I say a very big thank you to you. And to those that have tapped on the thanks button, the one with the love icon, dollar sign in the middle of it, may God bless you. Let's get right into this one. Hi, it's so nice to hear from you. Yeah. I, I've been here for, for like a few hours listening to you. Like, thank you for the words of encouragement. Like, it's so nice to hear from you. Like, the, the word of courage. Like, despite everything you've gone through, the past one year, like, you could come over, you know, to advise me, to, so, you know, like, all, everything I've been listening to is what I actually needed to hear. Like, you know, it's not easy. And I commend you, like, you, you are a strong woman. Like, with everything I've been listening to, you showed how strong you are being. And, you know, I'm so happy for you. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm also, it's, it's not the truth. But in you know, all of this, I have a son to, you know, to take up for. And I feel that's all that means. Matter, but that's all that matters to me. So, and I know the world have been, have been, have not been, you know, they have been crying with me, like people have been so disturbed towards me and my child. But I cannot control how they feel about me and me. So, all that matters to me in her the holy mother and father to my child. Thank you so much for. I really don't know how much she has helped me. Like, I need to feel I'm a strong woman until I listen to you. And okay. I really want you to know that you are, you are okay. You are, like, you motivate me. Yeah, let me just put it that way. You just motivated me more tonight. I'm like, listening to you, listening to your story and all this. And um, I, I really wish to hear from you like always I've, 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 I've gone through your Instagram page your Facebook and everything I've seen your like few of your posts and you know thank you like I, I really don't because you know you feel like I've really been in my like, I just feel like you but I have a chance to look after in everything I've been going for the past one and they don't even like I'm I'm they are not even talking anything strong for in all of this, one thing that you, 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 you've been saying is how precious the children are to you. 
And that is one thing uh, that can now keep me going for the past few years too. I found in everything I found. So me not posting regularly, me not going out as 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 um, people that love me can really want them. This is not because of or what people would say or because of yours. It is because that is how it has always been, even when my okay. family are like Okay. Yes. Okay, that's that's yeah. actually valid and that's fine. I'm glad you are doing well. Eh? And these two shall pass. Don't worry. Fine. Yeah, I have been fine. Thank God I had Liam. Because Honestly. I was like you like that. He has really been my like he has really been like yeah. I still in you because me and my husband and myself and my husband have been together since eleven years. And yeah. but like with without with that huge yeah, like, uh, like thank God, thank, like I don't know, God, God is so good. God has been so good to me. Cause thank God I have Liam, cause he has been the source of my strength. Like, uh, like sometimes you know, whenever I'm just alone, I just, I, I just spend minutes over the road and I just be like, what if, what if, what if my husband just died without giving me something to hold on to? What would I have done? How would I have? Done? Where would I have been? But you know, in all of this, whenever I do you know something, like I have really, I have really, I have really had that courage to get better. that sometimes I will go to the platform of my clothes and listen to them, hear them, and just, and just sometimes I pray for them, I pray for them. Not because they want it, because I feel like, oh my God, these people just, they don't deserve happiness. They just, they need peace of oh, mind. Sometimes I go to them to watch them. You know the fact, that is how strong I have been. Like nobody in this world. Nobody can can take me back to those those months because I knew what I did I did and I knew how much I prayed my way out of those those periods. So all of those things we are doing online is just like come up like I, like sometimes I just look at these people and I just laugh at them like like can you just like you know but you know sometimes I I it is it is yeah yeah I don't know how to put it like that is how they decide to play their own games and all of that. And I feel like most, most of these people that throw me and all of that are just projecting what, who they are or what they have probably gone through in the hands of women, their partners, their mothers, on me. But I cannot control how they feel about me because just, just, just like I, among me, I have, I, I, have, I have trained myself not to get bothered about what they see about me because they don't know me and they cannot define me. I know myself, they don't know me. And in all of this, I'm always thankful for the gift of my baby. Because in my bad time, whenever I touch him or I hug him, like it gives me that calmness that I, I needed. In, in those times, whenever I see things or hear things that, you know, that, that possible, that is how they decide to play their own games and all of that. And I feel like most, most of these people that throw me and all of that are just projecting. What who they are or what they have probably gone through in the hands of women, their partners, their mothers, on me. But I cannot control how they feel about me because just 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 like I among me, I have I have I have trained myself not to get bothered about what they see about because they don't know me and they cannot define me. I know myself; they don't know me. And in all of this, I'm always thankful for the gift of my baby because in my bad time, whenever I touch him or I hug him. Like it gives me that calmness that I I needed in in those times. Whenever I see things or hear things that you know that that supposed to break me, and I look at my baby, like I really don't know where those joy and happiness comes from. So you know, I'm always thankful to my husband in heaven. Thank God, he gave me something to always hold on to, which is our child. And the few members of the family that really want that 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 love him. When he was alive, I, all, I always grateful for the gift of that little child too. And that is one thing that has kept me going. In all of this, thank God I have Liam. Because yeah. it would have been worse if he died without looking back. So, let me to you and hearing how your children have been your source of joy. Like, I could relate because that's, that has, like, I could relate with everything because that is how I have always feel like, thank God I have it. In, in everything, I'm always the gift of my child. Like, I literally thank God every day. Like, in all of this, I've been with this guy for, since I was 14. So thank God that in all of this, I had a child for him. 
I'm I'm glad. So I have been in my field actually like so I Well, it's all about pretense. This girl can pretend for the world. Mobad is there. She's unwilling to tell us all that needs to be told. Of course, she's trying to save her skin, save herself. She has made the whole drama surrounding this demise look horrible. So horrible for people who are even blind. When they look, they know that this is not right, that there is something amiss here. Well, regardless, DNA is important. There is nothing that she can do about it. A lawyer came out saying, eh, we don't even need to go to court. The reason why uh, Mubad's father is the one, and that's the reason why she refused. Because once you say the leg of a child does not look like your family, then it shows that you are no longer part of the family. You don't have any right to request. You have already declared that the child is not yours. So if they have declared that that child is not for Mubad, why is Wumi hoping on getting the revenue accrued after the demise of Mobad. Why didn't she just change the surname of that child and move on? Why? Of course, she has been advised. They are just trying to save face. And I don't blame the lawyer of Umi. That's what she has been paid. He, he has been paid to do to come out and uh, protect the interest of Umi. It is glaring that that lawyer is not for Mobad. That lawyer is to protect Umi. And we should ask ourselves, why is Wumi requesting for a lawyer? And also we heard that they had not even gotten to Falano before Karimo came to take her there. So when they got there, Karimo was surprised, like, wait, like you people already visited this place before me. And she was so shocked that her own mother did not even say anything about it. Why? They were hoping to swallow Mubat's music revenue. They never knew it would get to this point. They were thinking of some couple of millions, maybe 100 million, to be paid into Mubat's account. That's what they were thinking of. Like, okay, 100 million to be paid into the account. Okay, okay, okay. But they eventually calculated and realized that there is more. They wanted to kick Mubat's father out. Not until issues came up between Mubat's mother and uh, Wumi. She, she now said, everything that Mubad's father wants is what I also want. No, it's too late. You guys have fought. You have realized that you are, you are failures, that you cannot win. So the need for you guys to bow your head in shame, pretending as if you have now, you have now accepted, it was because Mubad's father uh, offended you. These are all scrap, scrappy talk. I don't, I don't know what you guys are thinking of this one. It's a serious issue. It's a, it's a very serious issue. Here we are. Still on justice for Mubad. We miss saying a lot of things. And I'm so happy when I look at my son. I feel so happy uh, even with everything people say. What are people saying? No one is persecuting you. You are the wicked person here. You refuse to say the truth. You have lied all through. Everyone knows that you're a wicked person. Simple as ABC. And you're directly involved and indirectly in this demise of Mubad. If not, why did you get DNA done earlier? Out of shame or respect for Mubad. Let's say Mubad's father is a bad man. For the love that you claim you have for Mopad, until today, you are unable to tell us the reality of everything. Why is the nurse hiding? You guys are all full of lies. I don't know what you guys think of this one. Um, drop your comments. See you in the next update.